Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was found guilty of all counts, including two murder charges, by a jury Tuesday for his role in the death of George Floyd. The jury made their decision after just 10 hours of deliberations, finding the former police officer who knelt on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes during his arrest last May was guilty of second-degree manslaughter, second-degree murder, and third-degree murder. Chauvin was handcuffed and taken into police custody immediately after the verdict was read, with a sentencing hearing set for eight weeks from today. It's unclear how much jail time Chauvin will face, as Minnesota sentencing guidelines recommend a median sentence of 12 and a half years for both murder counts and four years for the manslaughter charge for those with no criminal history. However, prosecutors have indicated they plan to advocate for a higher than recommended prison term because of aggravating factors in the case, including that the crime happened in front of a child and that Floyd was treated with particular cruelty. The verdict was immediately met with cheers from the crowd outside the Hennepin County Courthouse as they celebrated the rare conviction of an on-duty police officer. Meanwhile, Floyd's family, politicians, and celebrities all applauded the trial's outcome as a major step towards systemic reform. Today history was made, Floyd's family attorney Ben Crump said after the verdict was read Tuesday afternoon. We are finally as a country starting to live up to the promise of equal justice under the law for all people. Jerry Blackwell, who was a lead prosecutor for the state, said the verdict sends a message that George Floyd's life mattered. No verdict can bring George Perry Floyd back to us, but this verdict gives a message to his family that he was somebody, that his life mattered, that our lives matter, and that's important. Philonis Floyd, George Floyd's brother, said he felt relieved, saying he was thinking of Emmett Till as the first George Floyd. Chauvin's defense team will likely appeal, though they have not formally announced that yet.